Hello and welcome to Victoria Stadium where Lynx and FCB Magpies are set to start the Saturday of football here live on Gibraltar FA TV. We have lineups for both of the teams. FCB Magpies will play with Jalen Hankins, Kevagan Ronco, Zuniga, Gonzalez, Martinez, Bautista, Valentine, Tato, Ayu, Jack Storer, and Jamie Coombs, Lolo Soler, Diaz, Lopez Galán, Del Rio, and Parker on the bench. For Lynx. The lineup will be Jordan Perez on the sticks, Garcia, Bauti, Santos, Gallardo, Mayemazi, Eldin, Negret, Jimenez, Chris Santos, and Aldair. Now it's looking for a penalty, but the referee is told to to FCB Magpies. Meanwhile, this player laying on the field. It's Jevag uh, and Ronco who has to be attended. We have one minute and a half in this uh, first half, and it's links nil FCB Magpies nil. Still, Kim and Ronco lying on the field, as I said. If he can keep playing on this game, and even the medical staff has to enter the pitch to attend Kevagan Ronco. So it seems uh, serious. But maybe he has to leave the pitch. Be in the first substitute. Sorry, of the game. Still waiting. And sticking. So players has the ball to keep themselves in the mood, in the pace. Meanwhile, Kevin and Ronco is still being attended. We'll see. How think things end. Steven Pitch. Up the distance and I think that uh, he has to be replaced. Yeah. And it's gonna be Julian Del Rio. The player that will that will replace Kevag and Ronco for the Magpies. So that's the first substitution of the game after four minutes. Julian Del Rio replacing 
Que va en ronco. Well, so now it's time again to play some footy here on Gibraltar. That ball for Aldair. Aldair Ruiz inside of the box. Aldair. Good save by Jalen Hankins. Enough of the rebound. Gonzalo Jimenez sent the ball over the bar. Another chance for Links. That was the replay. Aldair almost got it. And then Jimenez sent it over the bar. And that's the replay about what Kebaga Dronco. Had to left the pitch. Still, I still don't know what happened to to Ronco. I don't know if uh, if um, Alday stopped in the into him or it was a uh, something. Muscular, I don't know. We'll see, and uh, we hope that uh, that's not a big deal. Meanwhile, there's uh, five minutes in the into the clock, and still nil nil. In the scoreboard, Jordan Perez sending the ball to the other side. Gallardo playing from the left hand side links team that is uh, in the championship group once again links FC Sitting fifth in the table with 27 points, eight victories, three draws, six defeats, 26 goals scored, 22 conceded, plus four in the goal difference. Last uh, match day in match the number seven, they lost 4 0 against Lincoln Redims. Before that, four games without uh, losing. 2-0 defeat against uh, two, sorry 2-0 victory over Europa FC 1-1 one, one draw against uh, St. Joseph 2-0 victory over Glacis and 1-1 one, one draw against FCB Macquise and before that another defeat 1-4 versus Lincoln Redim so it's 8 out of the last tw sorry 8 out of the last 18 points for the team of Albert Parodi Things going kind of the same for FCB Magpies sitting third on the table with 33 points, 10 victories, 3 draws, 4 defeats, 33 goals score, 16 conceded, plus 17 on the goal difference. But lately, not uh, scoring so many points as needed to keep that place on, on European football this summer. Because last week, last so not last week, sorry, because there was an international break. Last match day, not match day number seven, they uh, were defeated 1 0 against St. Joseph. Before that, another defeat 3 1 against Lincoln Redimps. A victory 3 0 over Glacis. Two draws 0 0 against Europa, 1 1 against Lynx, and one victory 1 3 against St. Joseph. Eight out of the last 18 points for the team of Nathan Rooney. It's missing today, for example, his top goal scorer. 
Pibe with 12 goals. The top goal scorer, as I said, of FCB Magpies today. Not in the squad. Bauti. Still Bauti. Trying to find someone, but he lost the ball. Del Rio. He could not find teammate. So it's going to be a throw for Lynx FC. Now FCB Magpies throw. It's going to be Luke Bautista. Tato. With a stutter. Inside of the box Jack stutter. But the ball got. Cleared by the defense. And it's now Omar Eldin. Passing backwards. To Giancarlo Garcia. Bauti. With Eldin. Ball lost. No. It was a free kick. Because uh, that a fault, Eldin. That's Jimenez. Ball recovered by Links Garcia. Eldin Garcia again with a long ball that's Aldair Ruiz he comes to strike from Cuba crossing the ball trying to find Chris Santos but Magpies defense clear the ball Eldin again Bautista good recovery by Bauti Garcia Jordan Pérez with Gallardo Chris Santos he was foul he, he got foul that's the replay after Chris Santos I think he elbowed the defender but Mr. Timothy Rio blew the whistle first and gave a free kick to Links FC Meanwhile, players have been attended. Again, the medical staff on the pitch. Because after that uh, free kick for Lynx FC, it was Macaulay, Grisantus, and I don't know, it was Del Rio or Bautista receiving the attention. And again, the medical staff, as I said on the pitch for the second time in 30 minutes 13 minutes in this match between Lynx FC and FCB Magpies a goal less draw at the moment Thank <laughs> you. 
Places now are now out of the field, and it's time now for restart the game. 40 minutes and a half here on Victoria Stadium, and it's still nil nil. Means had some chances. Aldair or Jimenez, for example, with chances for links. That's now Bauti. Good move by Bauti by the captain of Links FC. Jimenez. Comes Jimenez trying to cross. Tackle by Ayu and it's gonna be a corner kick. It was it was ris risky by Ibrahim Ayu. He's complaining. No, not corner kick, finally. It was a free kick. That was that's what I said that was risky move by Ibrahim Ayu. And that's the replay. Oof. Probably he touched a little bit the ball. But I think this is enough to, to be a free kick. Because it was a little bit late. So, free kick for Links FC. Another chance for the team of Albert Paradis. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be it's gonna be a dangerous one actually. I can see one, two, three, four, five, six players of Links FC inside of the box. Plus Jimenez in the edge of the box as well. Oh <laughs> It was uh, the worst the worst option I guess. <laughs> and finally Mayemathi fouled a defender. But with more than half of your team inside of the box, I think to cross the ball to find someone in the air is the best option. But they tried something different. That didn't didn't work. Stutter! Oh, almost. Jack Stutter. Found a strong ball inside of the box, and with that volley, almost beat Jordan Perez. Probably the best chance so far in the game it was Jack Stutter, who almost got it. Gonna be another throw for FCB Magpies. It's gonna be a free kick now for Links FC. Jordan Perez ball. Another good ball for FC Magpies across Stutter. This time was the defense to clear the ball, but it's still on a dangerous zone for links. And it was finally Julian Del Rio who sent it over the bar. Another good chance for FCB Magpies. Team that little by little. It's getting closer to the opposite field, to the opposite box.
Tato. Oh, that's a free kick. It was, it was Joe Martinez who brought down the opposite player. Jimenez opening to the left side. Still links with that ball for Eldin. It's now Scott Valentine with Stoddard. And it's going to be a throw. Falling FC, but it has to be thrown some meters backwards. It's going to be Giancarlo Garcia with Mayamazi. Aldair. So I pushed Bautista. And it's going to be a free kick for the Magpies. Joe, Joe Martinez opening to the, to the right side with Combs. Oh, that's a penalty. That's a penalty for FCB Magpies. Jamie Combs was fouled down inside of the box. No doubts for me. A clear penalty for FCB Magpies. And it's going to be Jack Stoddard. That's the replay. Coombs and no doubt about it. Gallardo fault. Jamie Coombs and it's gonna be Jack Stoddard, the one in charge of taking the penalty. It's Jack Stoddard against Jordan Perez and Stoddard scores. X Stoddard makes the first of the game. Jack Stoddard yes, scores the penalty and put FCB Magpies in front. After 23 minutes of the game, Jack Stoddard makes the opening goal of the game and puts him in front. Things nil, FCB Magpies one. And away we go again. We're into the middle of the first half. And now it's Magpies in front of the situation. We'll see how Lynx handles. To, to be behind on the scoreboard. Links nil, Max Pais one. It's Gallardo sending a long ball to Aldair. Max Pais recovers the ball and runs from the left hand side. Bautista with Scott Valentine, he could not find him. But it's now Zuniga. Joe Martinez could not control that ball. Now Bauti. Tato. With Stoddard. And it was an offside. Again, links running from the left hand side. 
cross. Now Chris Santos could not find that ball inside of the box. Garcia. And that's finally a throw. Falling FC. Free kick now for Links FC. Jimenez. Another throw. see Ethan Santos in charge of taking that throw in Santos it seems like a corner Jelan Hankins has to punch the ball away Tato with problems it's now Negret and, Jan and Jalen Hankins finally got the ball Valentine That's a throw. Valentine quickly pass into Stotter. Who finds Valentine again inside of the box, but it was an offside. So Links recover the ball. Now it's Jordan Perez. He has the ball for Links FC. Valentine. Oh, good ball for Jamie Coombs. He tried to control, but it was a mistake. And finally, it was Jordan Perez who got the ball. Bauti. Passing to the right side. Where is Garcia? Aldair. Good move. Eldin. And it's going to be finally a free kick. And a yellow card. Yes. A yellow card for Zuniga for that late tackle. The first yellow card of the game. of links prepare to take that free kick into the second post all clear finally by the defense Zuniga Stotter finally that's a links ball again Gallardo García passing backwards to Mayemazi another long ball and that wins it but the ball came straight to Jalen Hankins hand Oh, 
tackle by Stoddard. Jean Carlos García Light on the field. And Stoddard is about to be booked. No. Just. The last call by Timo Tirio. Tato could not find this time Jamie Coombs. Santos. So Coombs passing to Tato. Joe. With Coombs, not an offside, good cross, and FCB makes the second. It was Julian Del Rio who doubled the lead for FCB Magpies, taking advantage of, dust, of that softness of, of, the, of the defense of Lynx. They were complaining for an offside, and they left Julian Del Rio completely alone in the second, in the back post, to double the Julian Del Rio scores. And it's 2 0 for FCB Magpies now. It's now 2 0 for FCB Magpies, a team that last week got qualified to the final of the Rock Cup for the second time in a row. Second time in the history and second time in a row. And for the second time, it's going to be a final between Magpies and Lincoln Redimps. Maybe another throw. Garcia with Aldair. Another throw in for Links FC. Bauti this time. Oh, what a throw. <laughs> it seems like a corner kick. Not a free kick this time. Another cross. Alday could not find that ball. And it's going to be finally. Again, a throw in for FCB Magpies. Another ball for FCB Magpies. Gallardo. Good move. Crisantus. Macaulay Crisantus. Ayuk 
clearing the ball. Cross to the back post, Jalen Hankins. Left it go after the line, and it's gonna be a goal kick for the team of Nathan Rooney. Jalen Hankin sending his teammates to the other side. Eldin with Garcia. Jimenez. Negret with Jimenez Bauti good ball for Crisantus finally the defense got it it's gonna be a Lynx ball Aldair with Crisantus. Coombs. It's again links on charge. Trying to score the first. They're trailing by two goals at the moment. Jimenez. No, sorry, Gallardo. And it's going to be a throw. It's going to be a throw. Fallings. All oh, shot. It was Maya Mathi. But he could not. He did properly, and Mark Pais escaped without considering at the moment. Another clearance. Stodder, good ball, comes. It's going to be a goal kick. No, no, I, I don't think it's a goal kick. I think it was a humble by Jamie Coombs. It's going to be finally free kick for Links FC. Tato got fouled by Aldair. Oh. 
Another cross. Valentine. Ball cleared by Ethan Santos. Corner kick finally. Tato Tato Finally Storer could not hit it Still Magpies Tato again Good ball It could be the third What a goal FCB Magpies has just scored It was Joe Martinez Who finished Wonderful team effort By FCB Magpies Beautiful goal Joe Martinez score and makes the third. Links Neil. FCB Magpies 3. But what a beauty of a goal. FCB Magpies has just scored. Wonderful. That's a replay. Tato got that ball. Found Valentine. And he puts back the ball to. Joe Martinez who finished Wonderful Wonderful goal Score by The team of Nathan Rooney Achieving What it seems is going to be a, a victory Still plenty of time more than, more than 45 minutes Actually but Seems difficult Fallings to to recover after uh, being beaten by three goals in the first half. And that's yellow card now for Tato. The second yellow card of the game, the second for and a Macbeth player. That's a corner kick again for Links. Ball clear in the near post. Short by Giancarlos Garcia. Completely over the bar. Goal kick for Magpies. Tato with a U Coombs No, the ball Left the pitch So it's a throw Falling FC Santos Maye Mazi with Aldair, all clear by Ayu. 
That's Del Rio. Ooh, late tackle by Ethan Santos. And he's about to be booking, booked. Ethan Santos. He's not complaining because it was uh, clear that he arrived late. And we're about to enter the stoppage time. We'll see how many minutes we will have. Five more minutes of football here on Victoria Stadium in this first half. That's Lombo, that Lombo for Julian Del Rio. Close to the line. No. I thought the ball has already left the pitch, but the referee said no. Play on. It's going to be a throw in. Giancarlos Garcia. Jiménez throwing for the FCB Magpies. Mayemazi with Jimenez running from the left hand side, the clearance. Tato. A long ball for Stutter. It's gonna be Jordan Perez who got it. Aldair trying to find Chris Santos. Now are you? And that's a free kick. And Mapais wants a yellow card as well. And the referee. Shows the yellow card to Gonzalo Jimenez. Lombo clear by the defense of Lynx Tato Good ball Scott Ballantyne he tried to move but Lynx recover Tato Aldair recovering it 
Aldair surrounded by the opposite player players. It's now a counter attack for Links. Negret against Tato. Good move from the right hand side. Combs with Storer. And Storer finally could not could not beat Jordan Perez. It's going to be finally Link's ball. Aldair. He sent it wide. And we don't have time left in this first half of the six minutes of stoppage time. It's Links Neil, FCB Magpies, three goals scored by Del Rio, Martinez, and Jack Storer. We will be here back shortly with the results of the second half. <laughs> Online abuse is so, so much worse than in real life because it's like 10 more people or 100 more people say it. You can create one, two, three, four profiles without ID. Nobody can trace you. I think that could be a real cicatrice because we are all human beings. We all have emotions. If we're the first arbitro homosexual in Spain and in Europe, he said publicly. Lo dejo porque me llegan más de 1.500 amenazas de muerte. It's not banter. You don't abuse people for their race, religious beliefs, their sexuality. You don't do that. This is a big problem for the society. You have to act now before it's been too late.
Yo, déjame luego por allí ahora un ratito, ¿sí? o algún botanito, ¿sí? no sé si guay, ¿sí? que no estamos hablando. Hello and welcome back to Victoria Stadium where FCB Magpies is winning, is beating 3-0 to Lynx FC and I can see a couple of substitutions, three substitutions actually by Parody, I can see Almeida, I can see Brima and I can see Dua Substitutions more than needed because you often consider three goals in the first half I mean, you have to do something to you <laughs> to fix that. So, Dua, I can see Dua, Brima, a couple of wingers, and Jose Almeida. Meanwhile, we're still waiting to. FCB Magpies. Team still in the ben in the bench in the in the dressing room. They are the teams, the team of the FCA Magpies. And we'll see how Albert Parody tried to fix the team. Gallardo, one of the substitutions. Negret as well. And Mayemazi, maybe. Yes, and Maximiliano Mayemazi. It's going to be Lynx FC in charge of taking that kickoff. And away we go in the second half. It's Lynx Neil FC with Magpies 3. Goals scored by Stutter, Del Rio, and Joe Martinez. Lynx at, as you have just made three substitutions during the halftime. Meanwhile, Magpies had to make one. In the fifth minutes of the game, after Kevagan Ronco got injured and Julian Del Rio replaced him, Del Rio that was a goal scorer. Another throw. 
Ich sage vor Magpais. Almeida. Jose Almeida. That's a free kick. Previous free kick. Previous fault. And it's FC Magpies with the ball. Tato. Comes left the ball go after the line and it's a throw. It's gonna be another throw. Another, sorry, another cross, and it's a goal kick for Links. It's Jordan Perez. Okay, Santos could not win it. Joe Martinez sending a long ball to Stotter. And that's about to be a throw. It's going to be a U. Dua. Joe. Good tackle by Almeida. It's now Dua. Jiménez with Aldair it's another throw Ethan Santos now all clear Tato finally Sent it to the other side. Jimenez. With Crisantus. He could not move after Tato. recovers. Bilal Dua, good move. Dua with Crisantus. Ayu was faster. And finally, Crisantus pushed Ayu. So it's going to be a free kick for Magpies. Another throw. <laughs> it 
it's Jalen Hankins with the ball. Hankins. Dua with the header. Are you? Again, Dua. Joe. Vidal Dua. Aldair with the back heel pass. Good move. Jimenez trying to find Aldair back. Again, Dijan Brima from the left hand side, but that was an offside. That's an offside. And Magpies recover the ball. That's Jordan Perez. Jimenez. Aldair. Still Aldair. He lost the ball. Valentine. Still Magpies from the left hand side. Jamie Coombs. Good cross. Dua with the clearance. Are you? And of course, to the back post. Ooh. I think it was Jamie Coombs who almost got the ball and could score the fourth for Magpies. Santos Santos playing to the left hand side Jimenez trying to find someone with a back heel pass but are you recovered now it's a counter attack for Magpies Combs with the right footed cross it's now Ethan Santos sending the ball to the other side are you You again trying to find Stutter. Good control, Jack Stutter in the edge of the box. Ooh, and almost Jack Stutter with that left footy shot. That's the replay. Uh, free kick for Magpies. Thank you. 
Dua with Perez sending the ball to the other half. That's going to be finally a goal kick. Tato with uh, Chris Santos. Chris Santos wins it. Bauti. All recovered by Tato again. It's Jan Carlos Garcia, the last one who touched the ball. So it's going to be a throw. Again, Magpies. Tato crossing it with the left foot. Strike two. Goal kick. It's Jimenez against Jamie Combs finally. Jamie Coombs wins. And it's a throw. Crisantus. Aldair. Aldair Ruiz. Pass into Jose Almeida, who lost it. Joe Martinez. Jamie Coombs now. That's the contra attack for FC Magpies. Opening to the left side. Del Rio with Stoddard. Bad pass. It's now Chris Santos. Easy now for Jalen Hankins. Tato. Again, Magpies taking from the left hand side. But links recover the ball. Stato against Almeida. Jimenez. Aldair. Oh, good move. But Ayo was uh, faster. And finally, did not allow I'll die to keep moving. And more substitutions. It's uh, Joe Martinez being replaced by Galan. And Tato for Diaz. can see Michael Ruiz
Volings replace it with Jimenez. So, some substitutions in both of the teams. Free kick finally. It's a free kick for FC Mark I can see that Galan. We'll take it. Galan with a with a cross, Stoddard good save, and Magpies make the fourth. It was Thuniga after catching the rebound inside of the box who made the fourth goal of this of the game for Magpies. Again, a bad defending, and Zuniga finally was the one who found the ball inside of the box to put again 4 0 for Mark Pais against Lynx. And that's the fifth. Again, Magpies. That's Jack Stoddard. Putting again 5 nil. One minute after. Jack Stoddard. With a wonderful move. And with a clinical finish. 5 nil. Two goals. After two minutes. how Lynx handles this situation because it's not easy to be trailing by five goals El Din with Bauti and you sends the ball to the other side and that's Sathro Almeida Goal kick finally He wanted a penalty For a push But the referee Mr. Timothy Rioch Thought that was not enough
el DIN. Omar el DIN. With Chris, eh, with Tijan Prima, good move. Tijan Prima, close to the line. Here comes the cross, ball deflected. And finally, Jalen Hankin saved it. It's going to be Jalen Hankins kicking the ball to the other half. Coombs with Stoner. Ball clear. Spouty gives it to Crisantus. But the yellow recovers. Ruben Díaz with Coombs. Zuniga. Galán. Opening to the left hand side. It comes the cross. Ball blocked. And finally, Fan Santos saved it. Yeah. No. Corner kick finally. Finally, it's a corner kick for FCB Magpies. the corner kick to the back post the header finally ball clear and that was a free kick so links will recover the ball Free kick again for Lynx. El Dean. Bad pass to Aldair. That's another Magpies ball. At the counter attack, Stutter. Good move by Dua. That's Jamie Coombs. Coombs with that recovery. Finding Stutter. That could be a hat trick. Good save by Jordan Perez. That could be a hat trick for Jack Stutter. But Jordan Perez sent it to corner kick. Substitutions, I can see Recine entering the pitch for Ethan Santos. It's going to be Galan with the corner kick again. Aldair, that's a free kick. The referee said play on. And Jalen Hankins got the ball finally. It's uh, Jalen Hankins with the ball in the hands.
Was a story again. Easy. Save two. Jordan Perez. Now Brima. Switching to the right side. Brima. Good move. And still Brima with a shot. Oh, good save by Jalen Hankins. That's TJ and Brima with the right foot a shot. And Jalen Hankins sent it to corner kick. from the right hand side it's now Jordan Perez Namo substitutions. Jack Storer being replaced by Alan Parker. And Jamie Coombs. Living his place in the pitch to Jeremy Lopez. And that's was the last substitutions of the game. Jack Sorrer would, would not find that the hat trick. This time they he had sorry the opportunity. But he sent it Honestly, he sent it to, to on target, but it was a good save by by the goalkeeper, by Jordan Perez. Are you? Ball to the right side. It's Jeremy Lopez, but he cannot control the ball. And that's finally a throw in for Links FC. Galan Parker Galan Attacking from the left side The cross It's going to be a corner kick
No, okay. Hmm. Another corner kick to the back post. It's finally, another ball for Mac by Sparker. Cross. Ruben Diaz. Close to the line. Ruben Diaz. We'll see how he managed the situation finally. He gave the ball. Two links. Tijan Brima. It's a free kick. Tijan Brima, Brima got fouled. Lombo from the right hand side to Asaldin. Ball recovered again by Links. Giancarlos Garcia. Bauti. Could not find Almeida. Another clearance. It's Recine. He got pushed. So that's a free kick. Tijan Brima. Again Brima. With Crisantus. Wasseldin. That could be a counter-attack. Good move by Michael Ruiz who recovered. Another cross. Aldair trying to move, but he couldn't. Ball set finally by Jalen Hankins when we have 10 minutes left in this uh, first game of the Saturday of football here on The Rock. Afterwards, we will enjoy the game between Glaciers United and Lincoln Redims. The league champion Redims, title holder, and powerhouse of the Gibraltar Football League playing against uh, Glaces and that could be the sixth. Good save by Jordan Perez. The replay. Or good save by Jordan Perez. Again, Magpie stuck in from the left hand side. Not an offside, so Magpie's, Magpie's kept the ball. You okay. 
Galan. It's Galan. Passing to the right side. But it's Ayu. García Giancarlos García Nao Pilal Dua Es que no había throw Jeremy Lopez. That could be now another counter attack for Magpies from the left hand side. That's a free kick. Bilal Dua. It's going to be another free kick. Brima, good recovery by Tijan Brima, tried to move, he got fouled. It's now Eldin from the left hand side and Dean with a cross to the near post, easy for Jalen Hankins. It's Jeremy Lopez lying on the field as we attend it. We'll see if he can keep playing, but FC Magpies has not uh, substitution left. Jalen Hankins. Kicking the ball to the other side when the game is coming to an end. And the three points will fly to F3 Magpies. Uh, have. So it's Lynx Neil, Magpies 5. Thank you. 
Два. Michael Ruiz. That's a penalty, no. The referee said play on. Aldair with the shot. Good save by Jalen Hankins. It seems like Aldair could score at least one. But finally it was Jalen Hankins who saved it. Another throw. Ball clear. It's going to be finally Dua who took great off the ball. The shot. Oh, Alan Parker sent it over the bar. Still Magpies with the ball. When we are close to reach the end of the regulation time, but we will have two more minutes of football. Jeremy Lopez. Are you? And this game that is coming to an end. Two games after. FC Magpies will win a football game again. On the league. Because they went through the final. Last week. Actually not last week. Some days ago. Beating 1-0 to Monscalpe. In the Rock Cup semi-final. They will... Play against Lincoln Redims again in the second cup final for the team of Nathan Rooney. Good move. It's Jeremy Lopez trying to find the ball, but finally Vilaldua kept it. Brima. Eldin with Dua throwing for Links FC. And we don't have time left. Links FC, Neil, FC Magpies 5. Goals to score by. 
Storer Del Rio Joe Martinez Zúñiga and Storer again So links nil FCB Magpies 5 We will be here back again A matter of minutes To enjoy the game between Glaciers United And Lincoln Redim So see you until 6 and a half.